Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got this. This is the new BMW CSL steering wheel from Fanatec. And it is the cheapest steering wheel they sell, 139 it comes out at, plus your taxes in your country. But remember the VAT will come off, the German VAT will come off first. In the UK, for instance, they're the same money, so you're going to pay roughly that money for it. Plus a very small, a small fee from UPS. So this wheel's been out a few months now, um, and it is, I was hesitating over getting it, and I didn't know whether to, because it's strange design. So I don't know how it's coming across on the camera, but this is like a burnt orange colour. And the buttons are smaller than a standard Fanatec wheel. So if you've got some Fanatec wheel caps, they will not fit this at all. So it's a bit strange when you get it. The badge looks, it all looks bigger when you see it in the image on their site. And it also looks thinner. This is much chunkier than I expected it was going to be. This feels very similar to... So this, it's got the same kind of feel, whether this is smooth, this is kind of, um, I don't, it's not ridge, but it's got a texture to it, whereas this is just smooth, but it's a very similar type of, in fact, the whole thing reminds me very much of one of these, the way it's plastic in construction. So on the top, you've got a change, that changes colour, so the white band changes colour with revs, and then obviously you have in here your miles per hour and also what gear you're in and the back puddles are made of metal let's have a, just have a quick look at the wheel what you have to remember this wheel is what you're paying for it because it is a budget wheel so it does have a QR on the back, it has the QR light which is so much better than the old clamp design they used to have but it is completely plastic now, I, it doesn't bother me in the slightest because this wheel will be having a metal slider on and the, the QR because that is because the metal slider that's currently on my McLaren wheel will be coming off and going this because I'm going to use the McLaren wheel for the CSL Elite that I've got which is connected to the PlayStation which you don't really need and the metal QR on. So as you can see, it's very, it's, well it's plastic, it's like a hard polymer plastic it feels better quality plastic than on the um wheel for the gran turismo the gran turismo plastic wheel i'll be honest because it does feel thicker than this this feels thinner to me um, but very similar in construction and style to this it's, they're made for a budget this wheel is obviously what i use for playing GT7 um, but yeah very much so but you, what you have to remember is this is when I bought this this was the most expensive wheel they had on site I believe now it isn't now it's the uh, BMW wheel they made after this um, that's come out and that's a 1300 or 1500 I can't remember but look at if you look at the difference there's a huge difference but there's a huge difference in price this to me for the money is amazing value um, for the rec for their ecosystem as a beginning wheel, I don't think you can really go wrong with it. I've had a quick go with it, and it is a quick go, and I was shocked how nice it felt. I was very surprised that it felt as good as it did. It's a bit on this bit on this. It just locks you down. It turns you down to low torque settings because of the plastic QR. I don't know whether when I put the metal one on it'll increase that. It does on the McLaren wheel. It allows you to have full torque. Whether it does on this one, I don't know because I'm not. I haven't done that yet. But I will let you know in the comments down below if it does do that. So it's all very well. It looking good. But does it actually drive okay? So let's have a go. Let's go take it for a quick run around Bathurst and see how it goes. We'll be back in a second. I'll just swap the camera over. Okay, so you're going to see the top of the wheel in the shot. And I can't get the full... I can't get everything in shot, so I can't get the full wheel and that. But you're going to get the idea. So let's go for a quick run around here. Turn the volume up. So there you can go, so you can see your display 
I don't know, and the display is probably about, I think they're about 15 mil tall maybe, something like that. It's not huge, but it does its job. So, let's go. This is the new Audi from the Challenger pack. The gear selectors feel really nice. They're not obviously they're not magnetic, they're just standard. But because of the length of them, they feel good, quite smooth. I have to admit, all in all, I've been quite surprised by the wheel. I expected the quality maybe not to be up there. There you go. There's no point doing a full lap in it. I just wanted to show you what it was like. I really do think it's worth the money. Um, this isn't a sponsored video by any way, shape or form. It's just what I, my opinion of the wheel is. And I think for the money, it's great. If you want a round wheel for a decent price, I don't think you can really go much wrong with this. If you're running this on a DD, you might want to have, having said that, you've just seen it drive and it, it's fine there's a little bit of play in it because you're going to get the play in the plastic against the d on the dd but hey 139 quid can't really go wrong can you so thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day and i shall see you soon